Good morning, my brother. Welcome to your daily grip on God's word. Quick question. How many of us, you, uh, would consider yourselves on the back nine of life and maybe have already made that turn and strolling down the fairways? I am definitely in that category. Really excited for the verses that rose up today, the message that God shared. I believe it's going to be for the majority of, of us. Uh, the, the title that I gave it is, uh, God is waiting, call him. My G are uh, three verses again, verse, tw I'm sorry, Jeremiah 29, 11 through 13. And as you know, Jeremiah 29, 11 is, you, you know it, you probably know it by heart. Here we go. My G is, for I know the plans I have for you, declares the, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. Then you'll call on me and come and pray to me, and I will listen to you. You will seek me and find me when you seek me with all of your heart. R. My reveal is this is one of the most popular verses in the Bible, 2911. He gives great hope to each of us. Many of us are on the back nine of life, and many of us are 59 plus. I truly believe that we, when we approach retirement, we must change the script from, from retirement to a path of purpose, helping, encouraging men to get a daily grip on God's word. My eye, my implementation, I'm going to be that encourager, yes, even at 63, to encourage and challenge men facing retirement to make sure that they retire to a purpose versus from a job. One of the best examples that I know of recently is Anthony in Oxford, Alabama. Retired from uh, quite a few years as a bank president. And for the first couple years of retirement, I know that his lovely bride would ask him, what's his purpose? And come on, we're retired. We're going to play some golf, you know, do some traveling. And she was really relentless uh, with our brother, wasn't she, Anthony? <laughs> And he started to engage with our daily grip on the video. And he then got the challenge of why not do something within his grip. So Anthony, I'm really proud of you as you just celebrated your 69th birthday, I believe, just a couple weeks ago. You are absolutely on fire with your life group at Cider Ridge in Oxford, Alabama. You are just pouring into the men, encouraging them, walking with them, listening to them, challenging them, just doing life with them. And I just hear it in your voice. I see that God has you clearly on purpose. So you've shifted that from retirement from the bank, retirement to giving life to these guys. And that is phenomenal. Well done good and faithful servant. Probably lost where I'm at. Uh, P, I'm going to pray. Lord, thank you that some of the most productive years of our lives are in our 60s and in our 70s. I'm even going to go 80s and into the 90s with Mr. Countryman. What an example. 94 years old, still given life. Repackage and repurpose to build your kingdom here on earth. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Guys, it's, uh, I see it too much out there. Work your butts off to retire from your job. And as you get into retirement, can only play so much golf, can only fish so much, can only travel so much. Pouring life into other men is so fulfilling. You can't get enough of it. And what a great way to retire to a purpose to God's plans, to the Great Commission, continue to disciple uh, other men. It's so fulfilling and so rewarding. Let me close this out. Lord, thank you for this message in Jeremiah 29 11. I know so many people have uh, owned that verse as their life verse. 
There's a gift such hope, and we can be confident that you have the plans for us. Lord, I can't think of anything better than to pour encouragement into men to encourage them to be in your word each and every day, to have a tea time with you early in the morning, seek after you, and then be available to, for your service while we're here on earth. Lord, we are just passing through our temporary home here on earth to our eternal home with you in heaven. Lord, I pray that we make it count here while we're still on earth. Use this, Jesus, all for your glory. It's in your name we pray. Amen and amen. Guys, I absolutely love doing life with you. It's amazing how God builds us a, this community of in his grip. And the moment we meet in person from just connecting maybe through the grip on video or social media or an email or text, man, we are like connected at the heart level and um, just want to do more of that. Love you guys. Appreciate you so much.